Hey everybody, uh, it's been a while since I've posted another video, so I thought I'd, I would uh, update you on how things are going um, and give a little bit of a history of how we design and redesign and redesign and redesign our products to make sure that they are continually improving um, over and over again. Um, I've actually been off work for the past couple of days because we physically have a hurricane flying over us. Um, today's day two of it, and it's just kind of sprinkling outside. Uh, we didn't get any damage. My big fear was that a tree would fall on the shed, uh, but we're okay. Family's good. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so if you've been keeping up with our designs um, and our progress over the years, you know that we've been using this design for uh, quite a while, probably a good year and a half or so. It has a little slot in the center for you to insert this little uh, barbell. You put it right in, you twist it, and you can lift out of the green tray. Um, this worked for quite a while, and the biggest complaint I got was that this barbell was just horrible. Uh, so I figured I would do, uh, try a redesign. So I decided, well, instead of a barbell, why don't we actually put a handle on it? So I designed this wooden handle. It could be uh, secured on there. A uh, nice thing about this is it allowed me to change the mesh size and label it. I really still like this design. I just didn't want uh, customers to have to glue it um, and you know possibly mess that up. Um, but this was my first iteration. This never made it to the store uh, because ultimately I found metal hardware um, that I could purchase instead and they aren't too expensive so I just figured I would just uh, include that in with the price. Um, I actually take the hit on that profit wise but it's definitely an upgrade from uh, the wooden handle. So I designed the tray like this. It still has that center rod and it's a little hole that way we can screw this in. Um, so this worked and it's wonderful uh, for my wood products. Um, but then when I make it for the acrylics, it still works pretty well, unless I get the thinner meshes, like this is the 1 16th mesh. And because of the lack of support here and the, the thinness of the mesh, uh, customers were complaining that the material warped. Like it's, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's pretty bad. Um, especially if I'm cutting and it's summer out or if it's hot and they're delivering like this could just warp in the track in the tray so um i looked for more redesigns to the idea i i like the handle but i just need to add more support so the next design and again this never made the store um is to get like a whole bunch of holes uh this uh, is the square hole design i also had a similar one with rounded holes which actually uh, took a little bit less time to cut uh, but it's still pretty much triple the cutting time as that. Um, and you couldn't use it for pupa or anything like that. So I scrapped that idea. Uh, that never made it to the store. Here's another one that never made it onto the store. This had a rounded slot design. Um, I think it's my favorite, prettiest, I guess. Um, but when I sent it to a customer to test it, uh, this was so long that it started to bend and it wasn't consistent. So then I had to add an extra rod here and I still like it. It's just a lot and it's kind of um, <laughs> ugly, but I had the right idea. I don't need such thick um, supports either. So I took that idea and I upgraded it. This is our newest design. You can call it the spider web design if you want, because um, it's the same idea. Instead of curved lines, they're still straight parallel lines. That way, you know, you're getting a consistent uh, width. <laughs> And this is the acrylic one, that's why the writing's backwards. But it still has a, a spot for the handle and lots of support on all sides. So this does not flex, uh, pretty darn rigid if you ask me. Uh, this is the one that I just made out of black material. This is uh, shipping out to a customer tomorrow. Um, so there is the evolution of all of my tray designs. I'm continually working on improving the designs. If you have any suggestions for any other improvements for future trays, uh, let me know because I'm all about improving, improving, improving to give you the best experience you could possibly get. Um, these are up on the store. By the way, I have a brand new website design. I, that's something else I worked on yesterday while I was at home doing nothing with the hurricane. So I decided to update the uh, website. 
So feel free to take that out, as, uh, check that out as well. And let me know what you think.